So we at Hope are a church with four dreams. One of those dreams is to be a, a place of hope for people on the margins of society. And so we're always involved in uh, work with the homeless, people coming out of addiction or prison backgrounds in the city. Three years ago, uh, the mayor of Bristol said that he wanted to eradicate involuntary homelessness in Bristol. And we as part of the church in the city um, said, what can we do in response to this? So the churches together in Bristol have joined to host uh, a night shelter um, across the coldest nights of, the, of each year. So this is our third year of doing it. This year there are 14 churches involved. Sunday night is Hope's Night when we um, convert the hall here into beds and a home for the homeless. And we have about 12 guests here on each of those Sunday evenings. It's great because I know, I, I know exactly what they've been through and what they're going through. And to give them a bed and a warm meal, I, I know what's, you know, what, that, what, what that'll mean to them. I find it's actually my favourite night of the week is coming here and spending time with people that just are completely different to me, but we just have a great time um, just chatting, just having food together, just as like a little mini community almost, um, playing games, cards, um, uh, so it's just a really refreshing and a just joyful time of the week. We're part of the Bristol Soup Run, so churches across Bristol give out free soup to the homeless every night of the week and we do that as a church once a month, we have a team that does that. We have a, a group called Celebrate Recovery, which is, um, again, it's a recovery group, a Christ-based recovery group for people with all sorts of addictions. Well, the therapeutic addict of one addict helping another is, is amazing. And then when you see them moving on with the recovery programme, it makes me feel it's all the worthwhile that we're meeting for recovery down here. This is um, a prayer centre that was designed to to have ongoing prayer while other events, both community and church events, are happening in the building, which is fantastic. We've also got some prayer huts which facilitate more personal blessing prayer, healing prayer, thanksgiving prayer. And the aim of the 24-7 the prayer in hope is that everyone connects with God and has praise for a particular theme in the city of Bristol. Mm -hmm.